Yo, what's up guys, it's Pet from Real Intentions and in this video I want to teach you how I have successfully seduced Miss Poland finalist plus how I prevented of getting her stolen by three guys who wanted to physically fight me. Little spoiler alert, no, I didn't even have to get into a physical fight to be successful. But before we start, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Now getting your girl stolen by some other guy is probably as old as pickup slash a game itself. You see many videos out there of uh, how to um, intervene into other sets, how to steal girls from other guys, but there is not a, a good video out there what to do if this happens to you. And I was thinking about a personal good example of mine I can bring up to show you guys and I was not an angel, I was doing it myself multiple times. But this time I want to show you how to really prevent it and what to do if somebody intervenes. If some random fucking guy intervenes and wants to steal your girl, you uh, had the boss to approach, you did so much already, all the steps, and uh, some random guy steps in and steals your girl. I am sure it happened to you a um, couple times. If not, it will happen probably sooner or later. And in this video I want to teach you of how to prevent it the next time. I also wanted to come up with an extreme example, that means not only one guy intervening into my set but uh, three guys like uh, what happened actually to me a few years ago and uh, plus this was uh, a girl who you guys would consider a real 9 or 10 and uh, I mean who else has stories or crazy stories like this to talk about? I don't think any other dating coach or many dating coaches out there have stories like me and this is only at the tip of the iceberg. If you want to get dig deeper into make sure to join the free Facebook group, link is down in the description. Plus I offer straight, practical, no bullshit advice to you which you can implement directly into your dating life and uh, that's therefore make sure to really subscribe to this channel as well to get our stuff out there for other people as well who are struggling with their dating life and uh, yeah, let's start. And as I said, this story occurred a few years ago, happened to me personally and I found myself uh, alone in the club, my friends left and uh, actually a club with uh, classy people, uh, good looking people, so not some fucking uh, backpack tourist bar or whatever uh, where like even a uh, fiver is sticking out, but uh, good looking uh, women in general. And suddenly there were like these two girls coming in and this girl of like 180 centimeter uh, tall girl and her shorter friend who wasn't less attractive than her and trust me all guys like turned heads and everybody was just looking at them you know and uh, first of all I was observing the, the uh, scene a bit or the, observing the happenings and uh, guys literally lined up in the row and approached her one by one I was, it, it was really funny to watch and um, she blew out every guy within two seconds. A guy came in, blown out, another guy stepped in literally one second later, two seconds later. This was ridiculous, really beyond ridiculous. I never saw this before and uh, I was like, okay, I'm going there as well now. So I waited for this uh, little gap of two seconds when the guy was blown out. So I had this like two seconds to go in before another guy uh, took my uh, place and uh, yeah. I basically went there and what I did and uh, I don't want to reveal the whole uh, situation how I picked her up but what I did here is I didn't take myself serious and you shouldn't either when it comes to hot women even if you have no uh, experience with uh, good looking girls yet but act as if you would and act confident because it's not about the line not about this pickup lines you see on the internet but really about the confidence and the boss and you have to own it means I went there, I didn't take myself serious, I wasn't also try hard because most guys, what it happens to girls and so many girls tell you the same uh, stories, guys uh, approaching her in the club, coming with some fancy pickup lines and then they try to convince her that they are the best deal, they have the fucking good car, they have a the best job, they have that much money and stuff like that, they buy her a drink immediately 
and uh, yeah, still don't get laid. And the guy still um, asking himself what happens here, why I didn't get laid. Because this is not a fucking job interview, you know, that's why. And uh, I went there and I basically said, oh, I'm just another, uh, I'm just another asshole approaching you, what's up? You know, with a smile. And I didn't take myself seriously, as I said, and I quickly got into a good interaction with her. I didn't also neglecting her friend, which most guys as well do. They focus on one girl and completely ne neglecting her friend or her friends. And uh, that's why they're getting often cock blocked. But I was concentrating on this whole group, which means on these two girls. Later found out they had uh, other friends as well in the club. And uh, yeah. I got into direction, set myself down to her. This happened outside in a garden area of the club, so there was not like loud music going on, so you could have a, a real uh, intimate uh, talk. And um, we were talking, I was creating this uh, strong bubble between us. What works really perfect, especially for models, not all girls actually, but for models, is to hit her on a spiritual side. Most of these girls are very, uh, very spiritual which means you can talk about star signs, your horoscope or whatever happens or going on in life and try to hit her um, beyond her looks, you know, don't focus fully on her looks. Uh, other guys are fucking perplexed and they don't know what to do or how to act. Girls can see through it and um, hit on a spiritual level. Try to, and I'm not saying you should use those old lines like mystery lines of, hey, what other three uh, habits do you have uh, besides your looks and stuff like that. No, but in those kind of way, you know, talk about some, some other topics. And uh, I also did some little cold reads, uh, which you can do as well with those girls. I, for example, said, um, hey, uh, I guess uh, many uh, people like would uh, call you, oh, this is this dumb blonde girl who has nothing but her looks, but actually you are uh, very smart, but uh, people never get it. And when you, have, uh, when you achieve some certain things, they, they are looking amazed and they can't believe it. And uh, yeah, we got into this interaction and it turned out she was actually very smart. She studied abroad. So she was uh, not only hot, but as well intelligent. And as I said, we created a strong bubble, but it didn't take long. And this came with a price, of course, that guys started to come up and uh, interfere in the, into this conversation. And probably this happens actually when it's not either they see you approaching her freshly. So they knew before, okay, this girl is alone and somebody came in and approached her. This is one scenario or the second scenario is when you don't act man to woman, what many guys don't do. They are like this gay best friend and uh, like, like a, a usual friend and guys can really see through this whole scenario and they can see through, oh, this, um, this interaction is not really man to woman, but this must be her best friend or yeah. But in my scenario, they, they probably saw that I was going there and approaching her and they knew, okay, she was alone, and, but this guy came in and uh, now they wanted to take her away. And uh, there was this guy, actually I have to give props for this, that he had the boss and uh, still come over. And um, I was talking with her and suddenly this guy comes in. This guy you would refer as a big muscle head, you know, bucked up guy, twice the size of me, actually same height, I'm uh, 188 centimeters, but um, he was uh, double the size of me. There are two types of AMOX. There is one type, this muscle head, like this uh, bogged, aggressive guy mostly, and this sneaky, over nice guy. This, this two, uh, these these uh, two types of AMOX you are gonna have. And uh, actually, guys always think that the um, type number one, the big muscle head, is always the one who is like, they have more fear of or, or he's a bigger danger to them. But it's actually not true. It's actually the other way around. It's actually the, the, the second type of guy, the sneaky, over-friendly guy, because he acts, uh, he acts in a very over-friendly, sneaky way and tries to befriend you, which works very well, and tries to, through you, they, she, he tries to steal your girl, you know? And before you get it, you, you, your girl is taken away, actually. And uh, this other muscle guy is, of course, more of a physical danger if you take it that way but not when it comes to reading social intelligence, uh, uh, actually not that good as reading social intelligence, empathy, and reading social dynamics in general. So it's actually easy to, easier to get rid of those guys than uh, the, the second type. So type number one, this guy came in and he made some cold reads or uh, he got it, I don't know, from what book or what YouTube video, some fucking uh, prank video or pickup, uh, bad pickup uh, line video. And he took her hand and was like, oh, you must be Russian. I see you're Russian. I was like, what the fuck, you know? Like, <laughs> this was beyond ridiculous. 
and we were looking at each other and uh, now what many guys are doing in these scenarios if they are me either they act they are active means means they're out for a confrontation or passive means they're getting sooner or later cuckolded because they don't do shit both ways are of course not good you have to find a middle path and the middle path was here not uh, doing nothing here and uh, acting passive and letting her taking away by his bad pickup lines um, but also not going to a physical confrontation or being uh, aggressive because that's why what, what uh, those guys type number one are looking out for they know that they are uh, physically uh, way uh, bigger than you and would win in a physical fight so they knew it they are not that they know it they, they're not dumb so they're actually out for looking for a confrontation so don't give it to them and uh, what I was doing instead I was trying to befriend him you know and uh, I was saying and and I tried to lower his value in front of in front of the girl in front of us I was like hey man uh, don't, don't be so unfriendly introduce yourself who, who are you and I was reaching my hand out so I'm basically showing to my girl as well oh I'm trying to be friendly I'm trying to reaching out my hand and first he was hesitating to take my hand you know that that made him look bad as well and then when he took it and grabbed it he squeezed it a bit but I over exaggerated I was saying like oh man why are you you're squeezing my hand so tight how much do you lift actually you're fucking strong you know and what I did here is actually made him talk uh, about himself and uh, girls don't like when a guy is showing off and he started to talk about his uh, fitness and gym and shit like that actually where I wanted him to be in the position and uh, the mistake many guys are doing here as well they are listening to this guy they have full focus on this guy and completely neglecting the girl which is not uh, working well as well because often the girl just uh, just she just stands up and leaves because she's not interested she was thinking like uh, did you turn gay or what that you are suddenly um, focusing on the guy and uh, neglecting her but I didn't give a shit actually when he introduced himself I was being I was being uh, pretending to be friendly um, reached for my hand he, he grabbed it squeezed it I made him talk and I turned to my girl and I was completely ignoring him I didn't care I couldn't care less actually of what he was talking about what his name is etc I was turning to my girl and we continued to talk and every time he uh, came with some uh, new line or some shit and while he was talking I often uh, as he couldn't hear it I was going to my girl whispered into her ear like oh my god this is so ridiculous look at this guy and stuff like that you know so I really lowered his value and he couldn't do nothing plus his English wasn't as uh, good as well he couldn't express himself in that way he wanted to because he was as well Austrian as me he could speak German as me so why should I be the stupid one uh, saying hey man I can speak German as well let's talk in German and then translating no I didn't so I wasn't uh, uh, translating a shit here I continued in English I pretended to not know any German or not being from Austria or whatever but continued to talk to English and he left like he was only like there for maybe a minute two minutes and he left I was like okay everything is good we started to talk again and suddenly he came in another time so it started to be it started to be annoying as a, as a mosquito you know like, again a second time my girl was even saying to him hey this is my boyfriend I'm his girlfriend uh, what do you want and but he didn't get it somehow those guys they lack total empathy total social intelligence and um, then he left somehow and I, and, and I was like okay finally I, I think he get it, got it now so we're good you know I was still sitting with her and we talked but suddenly he was coming in and I saw in the corner of my eye he wasn't alone he was with two other guys standing who were standing at the bar and suddenly all of them came over now he knew that 101 he has no chance he, because I don't get into a physical confrontation with him I'm out gaming him basically on my verbals only so he has, stands no chance but he was coming in with his uh, guy friends and um, one guy sat here next to me the other guy next to the girl and uh, he was uh, in front of us basically in front of, of my girl now the situation got heated and escalated pretty quickly now there was I had to do something here you cannot rely on the girl and, and be like this little better guy and little uh, passive cuckolded guy who is waiting for her to take over and say like hey uh, let's leave or, or get the fuck out of here but you have to be a man in those situations you know when when you see okay verbally it's not working or, or you're getting pushed into a corner you have to stand up and you have to be a man but it's not even um, 
through physical confrontation because I would have lost. There were like three guys, all of them really bugged, twice the size of me. So I wouldn't stand a chance. Plus, if I would have get into a physical fight, I didn't, I didn't know if they uh, know the bouncer probably or someone in the club, you know, and they would point at me, oh, he started the fight and would have been kicked out and they would fuck my girl. No. Uh, also, when I would get into a fight, would have gotten to a fight, uh, everybody of us would have kicked out and somebody else would take in my girl and uh, this, all of those uh, scenarios wouldn't be good. So what I did here, uh, as well, especially when the guy sat next to me, he squeezed my neck a bit and it was, he was saying, oh, go to the bar, we're taking care of your girl, you know? So it got, little, it got uh, very heated, actually, the situation. So what I did here is I stood up, I grabbed my girl's hand and said, hey, let's go to the bar and just left the, the, the whole scene. So again, I left him there and this guy was coming in, as I said, you know, this for the third time, his value was anyway low. But uh, yeah, he was not getting it. And I left those three guys standing there like stupid and I was going with my girl to the bar. And uh, actually she had uh, two friends there. So I was, this, this, uh, or three friends, I don't know, no, two friends. One guy and his girlfriend uh, I was um, talking to before as well, who were like uh, there at the bar now. They left me alone because they knew, okay, she, she is into me, I was into her, and yeah. But I was uh, grabbing her, taking her, going to the bar, where we were invited for drinks uh, from her friends. And believe it or not, those uh, guys still try to um, follow us afterwards, but I used uh, those two friends as kind of pawns in, in a chess game. I was uh, with my back against the bar, I was with my girl, you know, my girl were, wasn't even seeing them. And I was talking to her, uh, continue talking, sipping on our drinks. Uh, I think not even all three guys, but only one guy or two guys, they came in, the same guys. And uh, the girl, she had a big mouth, her friend, you know, she was like, uh, get the fuck out of here or we call a bouncer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they were out. And when they left, I heard in German, they saying, oh, this is fuck, uh, fuck, I wanted to smash him so bad. This uh, fucking guy, and they started to swear around and I was like yeah this is uh, how it works so this is how you take care of those situations and those were all the points I hope you did get them and yeah this was a good night we left me and my girl left and this was the rest was history so guys this is how you really get not only hot girls but how you prevent of getting amogged not only one guy but three guys or when somebody intervenes into your set and tries to steal your girl make sure again to like comment and subscribe especially hit the like button since youtube turned off the dislike buttons people don't out there don't know if this is a shitty video this is not a shitty video has this value or not and uh, also subscribe to this channel so uh, i can uh, this can uh, reaching out to more people also make sure to subscribe to the free facebook group and if you want to get as good as this and want to pull as well models and uh, really good looking girls nice and tense not some fucking drunk, drunk backpackers, then make sure to really either subscribe to the TechSK Mastermind group, just drop me a, um, a DM or an email, or a one-on-one -on -one live bootcamp with me for three days. And uh, yeah, without a further talk, guys, see you in the next video. Peace out.